Okay, folks. Welcome to my Let's Play of Uncharted Waters, New Horizons. However, this is the this is a different version from what most of you are probably expecting. Most of you are probably expecting me to play the SNES version, but unfortunately, I couldn't work out the sound bugs in the emulator. So, welcome to the PC version of the game, folks. And there are quite a few differences between this version and the console versions, but we'll get into that once we actually start playing the game. But first, we have a lovely little, lovely little intro to get through. Where it'll show off all the lovely people we get to play as in the game. A life of adventure. That wizardry? Sorcery? No way, that's not right. Oh hell, they'll just get to the bucks and wenches and we'll and we'll be happy. But anyway, this is Joel, the son of uh, Leon from the first game, and we'll be playing as him first. As he has the most involved um, most involved game out of all of them, in my opinion. With aspects of combat, adventuring, and trading in the in in his. Catalina, this is the only full-out legit pirate in the game, and also the only woman. And not too bad looking either. Mm -mm -mm. No sorry. Otto, Otto, Otto. This guy is a privateer, which, unlike a pirate, uh, his his pirate activities is in the service of his country. And next we have a Dutch geographer named Ernst. He's kind of got the Sephiroth hair going there, which is which is kind of cool, actually. Next up, we have the Italian adventurer and treasure seeker, Pietro Conti. Nice medallion, too. And finally, we have the only, the only trading-focused character in the game, Ali. So there you go folks, that's all the characters we can play as in the game and a little bit about them. And now we just get a, get a few more random slideshows, you know, just just to, just to help punch things up a little bit. Yeah, I think from those last two little clips there, uh, I think we learned one thing about this game. Women are good, men are bad. Alright, so that wraps up the intro. Just hit, we'll just hit a button here and we're ready to go. Now, obviously I, I'm playing this on DOSBox here and as we start our new game and choose our character, so for those of you who know about DOSBox know that there is no, you cannot save state. Hopefully uh, in a future version of DOSBox that'll be included, but for right now, we'll just ha I'll just have to use the normal save and load um, techniques that come with the game. As we select Yoao and hit escape to use its default name. And there we go, we'll just hit OK, or yes I mean, Blech. and we shall now begin our game. Now to those of you who have only played the console versions of the game, Wow, this looks a little different, doesn't it? Okay, so you move around by using the arrow keys. Uh, you can use also use the use the mouse, or you can use the compass on the lower right, like I was just doing there. And now I'm demonstrating the mouse way of moving. 
the character will move in the direction that the arrow is, po arrow is pointing, which can be pretty confusing at times, but I, I imagine you'll... Oh yes, here's something that uh, gets annoying. Every time you run into a townsperson, you'll talk to them automatically, whereas in the console versions, you have to hit a button to speak to them. But yeah, that's, that's different from the first game, isn't it? You actually talk to people in town. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, so we'll go, we're going to go into the pub here, and we're going to start, start uh, Yoel's intro. Now, in the console versions of the game, this is all done. The, the intros are, most, are mostly automatic. And also, you navigate inside the buildings in the console versions as well, whereas in this version, you just uh, navigate inside the buildings by using menus. So obviously already there are some stark differences between the, between the two versions. Now let's go into this very, very big building here and speak to Daddy. And there he is, folks. That's Leon Franco from the first game. I dare say he has aged well. Although it, only, it has only been about maybe 15 years or so since the end of the first game, so I guess it hasn't been that long. Well, no, wait, it has been about 18, 18 and 20. Because I think yo is 18 or 19 years old. And they obviously had, had him after the end of the first game, so... So yes, let us get down to business. I'm pretty sure we all know what he wants to tell him. Ooh, living a life on the edge. We like that, don't we folks? Yes, we do. Oh, fantastic. I'll have all the burdens of being a noble and none of the benefits. Shit. Hey, look at that, folks. He looks a bit familiar, doesn't he? This is actually the old sailor from the first game. This time, he'll do a lot more than just occupy a portrait space in the corner. He is actually one of the best mates in the game this time around, so... Yeah. But he's also going to forge Yoao into a manly man! Testosterone, baby! I wasn't even anywhere near you! Whatever. So anyway, back to the pub. Talk to Lucia and Carlotta again. If you guys haven't already figured it out, I, I'm pretty sure uh, Lucia is Carlotta's, da Carlotta's daughter and Yoel's love interest. A thousand gold pieces! Ooh! Zing! By the old man! Oh, come on! It's just a thousand gold pieces! It's not... It's not nothing! Anyway, there we go! A thousand gold coins! Our first money! Hey, who was he told he wasn't allowed to fly inside the house? 
Anyway, Lucia is either the Flash or we just experienced a little video game magic because she was there and gone in a minute. Yeah, I think they forgot to uh, put in a piece of dialogue from Carlotta. But um, I'll tell you about that um, in the next part because we're actually running up on time here. So um, next time, folks, we will finish up these, um, finish up Yawa's intro and hopefully we'll put it out to see for the first time. So this is Heaven's Frog Man. I hope you guys enjoyed this first part of the Let's Play. And I'll see you guys next time.